Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Preseason is, of course, in full swing. We had the first day of the promo yesterday. I want to talk about the content that we expected that was received and also some of the things that they are doing or maybe not doing with this preseason promo that are maybe, I guess, unexpected. We didn't see it coming. And also a new pack code that has been added that could be dropped today that would actually be a really good shot at packing a really high rated card because they put a few more cards in packs than what we kind of thought. So I want to take a look at these rewards that are available from preseason week one, right? They're splitting this up into a three week promo. Basically what it's going to lead up to is right before FIFA 22. This is legit FIFA 22 preseason because again, three weeks from now is going to be September 17th and that's going to be like five days before the web app drops. So um, that is kind of what this promo is again, just leading us right up until FIFA 22. So just as we expected, it is play FIFA 21 and earn rewards in 21 and 22. Now, in my opinion, the rewards that we have here, at least one piece of these is better than what we had last year from FIFA 20 going into 21. So I like a couple things that are in here. We'll talk about it because also for specifically one of these rewards and one of the objectives available, it's not that big of a grind. But first, here are the rewards. Five games, a thousand coin boost times two, right? This is attainable through the warm-up daily SBCs. You have to complete five in a row to earn the foot 22 coin boost reward. Now, here's my thought, right? You have to do five different SBCs and you have to do them all. A set of five. If you miss one, you don't get the coin boost. I'm not a fan of this because if you start this, you're locked in. And it just seems like turning in five different SBC squads for... 10,000 coins that you have to go and play 10 games for as well in FIFA 22. 10,000 coins when you get the actual rewards from the preseason in FIFA 22. We'll talk about when that could happen as well. I don't feel like it's going to be that worth it. So this one is probably a pass for me because again, what if they require like an 80 rated squad down the line? Do you really want to turn in an 80 rated squad for a a coin boost? I don't think many of you guys would, but if they keep it bronze, silver, and maybe a few gold cards um, and really cheap SBCs the, the whole way through, then, then maybe if you got a bunch of stuff in the club, maybe it's worth it for you to do. But for most people, I think that this one is not that great. Although there is an objective that was released yesterday, and I've actually already finished it, this team tryouts. Now, this is the one that I would recommend all of you guys doing. It is in the live foot friendly, bring your best, which basically you can use your main squad for because a lot of you guys already have 92 plus players in your squad. Play four matches, score using 92 plus players uh, in three separate matches, and then assist from across. Very easy. This one was actually like uh, glitched. It was just assist with anybody, not across or across. Any assist would basically uh, do this, get this objective done. But that gives you this pack right here, a Kickstarter pack. And the reason I like this Kickstarter pack is because depending on when these rewards are granted, I mean, even if it is still a week after um, like the web app is out and it's on the full date release, when you get these rewards, a gold players pack, that's pretty solid. Now that is a pack of 12 golds, only one rare, but it's all players, right? That's very, very helpful if you're starting the game and you know, you're going to do like hybrid league and nations, hybrid nations or hybrid leagues, advanced SBCs. And you know, just to get a couple non rares in the club to help out that sort of stuff could be very nice, right? Even in that early stage of the game, even if you've already been on the game for a week, if you haven't finished those SBCs yet or other SBCs that are coming out, I think that and the contracts and the chemistry styles are very nice. Five chemistry styles and you're guaranteed one shadow or hunter and five gold rare contracts, which is, you know, very nice as well. Not to have to think about having to buy contracts. If you have a couple of these Kickstarter packs, let's say you get 10 to 15 gold rare contracts from three, three starter packs, you have 15 gold rare contracts. You're set, right? If you're gold rare contract, that's 28 uh, games to a gold rare player. That's very nice, right? So I think that this team tryouts objective is really worth it, right? It's four games. Some people are doing golden goal. You get a 50 K pack in FIFA 21, which is nice. Uh, so that one, I think was a huge W on the day. Now, other than that, our content yesterday, it seemed, seemed quiet, right? It seemed quiet. Now the 87 times 10 is still there and people are actually grinding this still because it's actually still really, really good. And you're packing a lot of high rated players from it. Um, but the content yesterday, otherwise with the Castillejo and the Godin, this Godin card looks decent, uh, for this, for this game that is in a couple days, Milan versus Cagliari, which is, this is nice content, but 
It doesn't seem to be very hype. So Godin with pace is actually pretty cool. I'd be interested to know how this card plays in game. The links obviously aren't that great. So if you're running a Serie A squad, this might be one of the best Serie A center backs in the game. Uh, but this Castileo card looks pretty good, except for the work rates. Five-star skills, but medium-high is kind of interesting. I think uh, I heard some stat that like uh, Cagliari has not beat Milan is in a long time or something like that. So of course Milan are favorites for this one, but I just don't, I don't think there's too many people interested in those two SBCs right there. And that's one thing I want to point out too, before we talk about more objective stuff is that there is nothing inside of this foot 22 per, or foot 21 preseason promo, the webpage here that talks about transfer content. I was one thing that I was really hoping to see is that maybe we would have a chance. And of course, the big news yesterday being Cristiano Ronaldo transferring to Manchester United, right? What a ones to watch promo it is going to be in the start of FIFA 22. Ronaldo, Messi, I mean, all the players that went to PSG, You may, maybe even Mbappe in there. There's still a few days left of the window to cover, but once to watch, it's going to be insane. Um, and, you know, th there's so many transfer SBCs like we talked about in yesterday's video, like guys like Konate or Wijnaldum, or ha we already had one for Hakimi and, and Depay, but, you know, so many other players that have transferred that they could give SBCs for. Um, I really feel like that would be something in the next three weeks that would help out this game a little bit and still create some hype for like ones to watch and stuff headed down the line. But that is not shown here as a part of this preseason promo. So that I think is a bit of a bummer. Now they might just release it anyway. We'll see, but it is not specifically listed as a part of preseason. So that's a bit of an L I think, but the last part, and we have not seen an objective or an SBC yet, but this is guaranteed to come out this week because all of these rewards are of course for week one, as noted um, in the first, yeah, during the first week of preseason, you can earn rewards, a league of your own pack, which will give you three gold bonus ticket players with one rare La Liga, League One, Premier League, and Serie A. So that's going to be interesting to see what kind of grind we have to put in when those are dropped. But those look pretty decent. And again, I just want to point this out. All Foot 22 preseason rewards are untradeable. Rewards will earned during preseason will be granted by October 12th. So this right here saying by October 12th, it does not mean they will be released on October 12th. Because of course, the game this year, is being released on October 1st, right? October October 1st is the actual date when we'll see FIFA 22, the full grand release. So if it's coming out 12 days after that, that's an L, right? In my opinion, I think these rewards will drop on that full release date. I think this is a granted by date, not a granted on date. So this is kind of like EA's buffer, I guess, if they you know, delay it for some reason or they can't get it figured out or whatever the case may be. Last year, I believe the rewards were granted on the full release date. I need to go back and check on that. So I would not expect to have this stuff through your starter packs anytime before the global launch date of October 1st, but it'll be nice to have some of these rewards. So as long as the grind for all of these, as long as the grind is not that much, then that's good. Now, of course, we're going to have um, week two and week three, and it says here, stay, in stay tuned in game for more details about what will be available week two. So in my opinion, we're already off to a good start with this Kickstarter pack just being filled with a lot of useful things. And then these League of Your Own packs, I mean, they could be nice, right? They could be nice at the start of the next year. We shall see. So that was the content yesterday. Again, it seems a little bit like an L, right? It seems like a little bit of an L just because um, it's a lot less than footies. It's a lot less in your face and exciting content. Although we did see that they did put Summer Stars and Path to Glories back into packs. And if you take a look at the cards that are in packs, this might be kind of hard to see because on the, all the way on the left. Um, but we basically have all the 99s back in packs, except for Messi. They put Messi's Tots card in as a 98. Um, and this is going to come into play here with the pack code that we're talking about for an SBC that could come in today. But it's mostly team of the years. Like we talked about that Alfonso Davies team of the year has not been re-released. Now it finally is. Team of the year on Bappe is out. But it's mostly team of the years, team of the season, uh, some of the summer stars and some of the path to glories. Basically what it is, is the 100, like I think it's the top 100 best cards for whatever EA used to rank that. It's the top 100 best cards in FIFA. So it's a lot of higher rated stuff. And that's, again, the interesting part about this is we have this Footwatch tweet tonight showing us two different codes that were added in, a preseason loan packs, which contains a mix of icon moments, team of the year, tots, and summer stars on a five game loan, which tells me that they're probably giving out more of these packs because they're going to be doing more objective based 
uh, content for preseason. So maybe those league specific, like the Bundesliga packs, the Prem, those three player packs, those might be attainable through objectives in that special game mode. So uh, that'd be something I'd be keeping an eye out for. But this is the one, a 10 90 plus rated rare players pack. And it is all from the preseason best of 100. So if we take a look at this list, and we see how many players are there that are 90 plus. There are one, two, three, four cards that are below 90 in this list of 100. So 96 players are available from this pack. 10 times 90 plus with only 96 players available. That's kind of crazy, right? Your odds to pack um, a Firmino, a Ronaldo, a Neymar 99 are still going to be very low, but they're never going to be as high as this. Now, I think we'll see this SBC today. I think it's going to be an SBC they released today. I don't know if it's going to be repeatable. I feel like this is such a good thing that it's probably only going to be a one-time um, SBC, but also I think it's going to be pretty expensive, man. A 10 times 90 plus, it's going to be probably like the 87 times 10. I doubt it'll be less than five squads, probably going to be more than that. It's I, I would imagine that they take this route so that they can make the SBC more expensive. Because if they just made that like an 88 rated squad, that would be too cheap, right? That'd be too cheap. So since they're giving 10 cards back in the pack, I would imagine that it would be similar to this 87 plus upgrade sort of vibe um, for that SBC right there. Now, I did one of these earlier today and I actually got some really good stuff on it, right? Because of the smaller amount of cards that are in packs, but how higher rated they are, it's actually kind of cracked, right? It's actually kind of cracked to do some of these gold upgrades or some of these 87 pluses. And I think the 90 plus times 10 could be a lot of fun if that does come out. So watch out for that one today. It's probably not going to be cheap, but it's probably going to be worth doing. That'll be your best chance at packing a 99 rated card or one of those best versions of Path of Glory or Summer Stars, maybe even a Tots or Team of the Year, if you're still chasing after one of those items. So that is what is going on. I'm actually qualified for the weekend league. I really have zero motivation to play it after getting the objectives done. I mean, I played a few games today with the squad and it was just like, mm, man, I don't really enjoy playing this game right now at the moment. I'll be completely honest, but I'm probably going to still play a few games a week and league just to pay, play out again and try to enjoy some of the end game cards that we have achieved in this game. I don't, I need to like order my squad. They still haven't updated Nani, bro. What? Yo, that's kind of crazy, man. I thought this guy would have gotten updated faster. Um, I was thinking that tonight would be the night, and it has not happened yet. So maybe it'll happen soon, but he should go to a 97 pronto. It's been a couple days since the game, but I might have to reorder my bench here to see if I can get this up to a uh, 197. I think if I got like a variety on here, maybe moved him up, maybe I could get that done. I don't exactly know how this all calculates in terms of rating, but the squad is looking fire, man. I'm happy with this endgame team. Packed Acuna, played a couple games of them uh, in friendlies. That's why it doesn't show on the record, but loving the squad. It's just the game that is just kind of dying out for me. I'll be completely honest, but the preseason promo, again, it's not game breaking, right? It is not game breaking. It's not insane content. That 90 plus times 10 is pretty cool. Um, and we'll just have to see what continues to happen throughout the week this week. If you guys did not know, those card packs right there showing on that screen, that's what packs will look like. All packs look like that in FIFA 22. That's how they're kind of making like the IRL connection to like actual sports cards packs. It's kind of cool, right? I really rate that. Great graphics from EA uh, already starting off in 22. So that's kind of a little cool detail thing. And they've already got like FIFA 22 branding as a part of this too. They're trying to suck you in to get FIFA 22. They really are, as you can tell. But that's going to be the video for today, man. I know there's just right now in this game, it feels like it's it's getting quiet, right? And you have these top tier cards, even that are in packs right now at the moment, actually going up in price. Ronaldo is up, but of course, there's a little bit of hype there, of course, with the transfer and stuff like that. Neymar is in packs. I believe his price went up yesterday, 2.9 lows, 2.86. And right now he is three mil, right? He is three mil. Yes, these guys are in packs, but there's no supply, right? There's no preview packs. Um, there's no reason for people to panic sell. People are in their end game, right? They're in their end game teams. What do I have on a side? Oh, a Sanchez, less from my 87 times 10. But um, that's just kind of the vibe and that's the feel of the game right now at the moment. So if you are motivated to grind the FIFA 22 stuff, by all means, go for it, grind it out. But I just say, make sure you use uh, your best judgment on what is worth it, right? If you want to do those warm up SBCs, go for it. But for me, I'm going to steer clear because I don't think it's worth my time. 
at this stage of the game. The Kickstarter packs and the League of Their Own packs, I give those a thumbs up once we see what the what it requires to get one of those League of Your Own packs. But again, that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.